Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have signed five more players to future contracts to start off this offseason. I am not alone in this video. Joining me yet again, my colleague from BucksNation.com, as well as the co-host of the Cannon Fire podcast, it is Evan. Evan, we are going to jump right into this video today. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have signed five Five players to futures contracts, as I said, those players being wide receivers Travis Johnson, Vincent Smith, and Austin Watkins, punter Sterling Hoffrichter, and finally, tackle Jonathan Hubbard. So, real quick, I know these aren't, you know, the biggest names ever, right? But I've always stood by the you know, process the mindset of you never know who is going to make an impact until they make an impact. So, you know, real quick, Evan, I want your thoughts on these five players signing these future contracts here with the Buccaneers. Yeah, obviously different positions uh, for these players have different meanings, uh, specifically the wide receivers. It's a deep wide receiver room anyway. I know that they won't have guys like Antonio Brown, um, but it still is a deep wide receiver room, and it might be tough for some of those guys to make it. The one I'm interested in is Sterling Hoffrichter because he was the one that, that got some time with the Buccaneers while Bradley Pinion was sidelined with an injury, and Pinion kind of had an up-and-down season, so perhaps – if the Bucks are looking to save some money, maybe they look at Hallfrichter as a guy for the future, and, and it could be as soon as this year. Yeah, exactly what you said there. You know, uh, when I look at this list of guys, you know, I look at a guy like Travis Johnson. He was with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on and off. Jason Light was very high on him. Uh, I believe last offseason was what it was. So maybe he can do some interesting things at wide receiver. Maybe he can do some interesting uh, interesting things on special teams as well. Like you said, Sterling Hoffrichter, you know, he was with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers throughout most of this season. Actually played in a couple of games whenever Bradley Pinion was out uh, dealing with a hip injury, I believe. So so, you know, he's going to be another interesting guy who's going to be battling for punting duties. Like you said, uh, Pinion could honestly potentially be a cap casualty somewhere down the line. So maybe Hoffrichter um, will have a pretty legitimate chance um, at that starting punter position. And then also you can't really count out guys like Vincent Smith. He's been in the league for a couple of years. Uh, Austin Watkins, he's still a young developmental wide receiver. He could be a guy, uh, you know, maybe on a practice squad next year, maybe make some noise in training camp in the preseason. And then also Jonathan Hubbard, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Guys have expiring contracts. Um, you know, there's always these different types of guys who are rotating in and out, young guys at some of these backup positions. So uh, I really think you can't count out anybody in this day and age in the NFL. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, we'll see how all of these guys are able to grow, develop, and compete at all these backup position groups, Evan. Um, and it's 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 nice, right? It's nice to see the Buccaneers be proactive here, uh, work towards building on some of these depth position groups. You know, you said at the beginning of this video, hey, the Buccaneers do have a, weep, uh, a, a deep wide receiver room, but... It's always nice to still add young developmental talent where you can and, and just see what guys have to offer. Because again, you know, this is always my thought and opinion. You, you never know who is going to make an impact, uh, you know, until they make an impact. So, you know, at the end of the day, we'll see, Evan. Um, I, you know, I, I know I always get eternal optimistic James. Oh, he gets excited about every player that ever signs to this team. But you know what? Um, let's just wait and see what happens. The Buccaneers continue to build their depth here uh, with five of these signings that were made. Some of these guys may even end up as starters, you know, in the case of Sterling Hoffrichter. So who knows? We will have to wait and see. But uh, guys, let us know your thoughts and opinions about these signings down in the comment section below. Are you excited for a couple of these signings, like in the case of uh, Sterling Hoffrichter and Travis Johnson? I know there was a, a lot of people who were actually very excited about Travis Johnson uh, last preseason and offseason, so give us your thoughts on that. Also, what do you think about some of these guys competing for backup slash special teams roles, like in the case of Austin Watkins, Vincent Smith, and Jonathan Hubbard? Uh, we would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Also, go check out the article that I posted on BucksNation.com uh, talking about these signings and giving a little bit more information about them as well. Uh, a link to that will be down in the pinned comment down in the comment section below. Evan, I want to thank you for being on. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And we will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now. And go Bucks.